Hi, I'm Grant Reniger and I'm one of the instructors here at the Ledbetter Golf Academy in Champion Skate, Florida. And today we're going to talk a little bit about arm lock putting. Now this is a great alternative, especially for those who used to use the belly putters. Uh, since the anchoring ban a few years ago, we've seen a lot of tour players have a lot of success with this. Uh, it was popularized originally by Matt Kuchar. We've seen players like Webb Simpson, Keegan Bradley. Uh, more recently, Will Zalatoris finished second at the Masters using this technique. Uh, and we even just saw uh, another Callaway ambassador, Xander Schauffele, switch to the arm lock putter uh, this past week. So it's a great alternative, takes care of a lot of things for you. Um, it, it has a great feel to it. and sometimes even if you don't use this putter it's even great to use as a training gate to give you that feel and that connection so uh, let's talk a little bit about who it can benefit and why uh, we've certainly seen a lot of success at the tour level uh, with this type of putter and we're starting to see it trickle down into the amateur levels as well um, but what the arm lock putter essentially does is get you into a very locked position okay so when i get set up here and i forward press this shaft against my forearm and then I make a few strokes here, you'll see there is no deviation in the shaft angle, okay? So a lot of players will struggle with driving the ball too far this way, drive the ball into the ground, and it'll pop up. Uh, we also see a lot of early releases uh, that can give you some uh, directional implications as well as, some, as well as some speed implications. So as I get locked in here, make a few strokes, you can tell that that shaft is returning to where it was at address every single time, okay? Now, very important, if you do decide to go with this method, it's very important that you go see a certified club fitter because there are some key differences between this putter and a traditional putter. Uh, firstly, you can see the length of the putter is much longer and has a much longer grip. Uh, that's to allow for you to get set up and then lock it against your forearm right there. Okay, so a traditional putter is going to be around 34, 35 inches, uh, whereas these are going to tend to run between 40 and 42 inches. Uh, also, a traditional putter is going to have around 3 to 4 degrees of loft. Uh, these are going to have around 6 to 8 degrees of loft. And again, that's to allow for starting right here and then for pressing it right there. Okay, so the effect of loft will actually be around 3 or 4 degrees, which would be the same as a traditional putter. So let's talk a little bit about how to use it now. So as I get set up here, lock it against my arm and just make a few strokes, you can see that it really eliminates any, any hand and wrist movement, okay? And that's where we see a lot of faults in putting. So I'll putt once more here, get it locked into that position, and then it's just a simple rocking of this pendulum right here, okay? Once more. And there you have it. So again, it's a very simple tool. It's a great alternative uh, for those who are struggling with consistency. Uh, we might even say the yips. It would completely eliminate that problem. So again, if you do decide to go with this method, go see a certified club fitter. I would highly recommend.